In California, the laws for Nimit toad control are fairly rigid, and that way on purpose to protect the grower, the commercial grower, as well as the nurseryman. So on this block of jujube here, which is um, an Asian fruit, a Chinese date, if we were to find one nematode, if, if we did not fumigate here, the state of California would come in and, and sample the roots in this field. If they found a nematode in one of these trees in here, they would destroy all the trees within a given range of the block. So in setting this block up, we will incur costs of anywhere from $150,000 to $200,000 per acre. And so to lose that crop for, for one bug in the soil is something more than we as nursery people think we can take risk on. If we fumigate the soil as prescribed by the state and in accordance with the regulations, we are deemed free from nematode because past use and practices have shown that if you do it in that manner, you have no nematodes control, no nematodes, and I've actually had tests done on plants to, to prove that as well, and some of my export is to countries that require nematode sampling regardless of the fumigation, and they have always come back clean on the samples. So I can either fumigate it or I can root sample it, and if I have no nematodes, I'm good to go. If I have nematodes, I've lost my crop, and the grower has no trees.